Now this YouTube soap is all about snow Where penguins live and build ammo Cause you never know when a seal might attack Or when a really big giant orca might come back In yeah. west of the Arctic, born and raised, where the penguins live and engineering is praised. Chilling outside and all frosty and cool on an iceberg the size of an Olympic pool. When a couple of seals who were up to no good started stealing food from a neighborhood, we threw one little spike and hit it in the head. The next thing we knew, that damn seal was dead. We whistled for a sled, it came through the frost with a sign that read cool and snowflakes embossed. I wanted to ask if this beavers but cold, but I thought, nah, forget it. That show is so old. We we build lots of schools, about seven or eight, so architecture's wiped from the slate. In this frozen kingdom, engineering reigns, because after all, pe penguins have brains. Yeah. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to the penguins. Oh, your explorer arrived at the center. Two penguins have arrived in the center. Yes, so if you remember last time, I believe, yeah, down here. Oh, look, did you see the submarine returning? So yeah, we built this, the exploration center, and we sent old friendly Honu out. Uh, and this was actually the map. Yeah, so we've been, we've been to this place. Oh, you can actually see how many times you've been to each place. Interesting. Looks like next time we return, if we if we do some of these things, we get like some stuff back. So if we reach 350 gold, apparently they reward us with 25 stone and all 45% education. That could actually be a, a viable goal there. So what's our education at the moment? 33%. But you may remember up over here, yeah, we got four schools on the go, all filled with little baby beavers being educated. No, penguins, penguins. I keep calling them beavers. <laughs> Anyway, so what we need to do, I think we need to get, didn't we unlock high schools last time? Yes, we have unlocked high schools. Now they require snow blocks, plastic, stone and metal to make. And I believe, yeah, the old metal is a little bit low. I could build some of these. In fact, I probably will build some high schools. They can house six students. Uh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We're under attack by the seals again. Oh, we just completed a task. Oh, it's produced the exploration points, wasn't it? Down there, yeah. So we gained a load of gold, a load of food. Oh, and a load of metal so we can build some more schools. That is good. So this is the schools. What I might want to do, because they've got to be, they got to be powered. Can I add a road down there? Yeah, I can. Let's add a road down that way. Proper grid this place up. And then my high school, I can shove one there. What is all that noise? Oh, it's been seals getting massacred. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the seals are trying to steal our food, but thankfully we got loads of these towers up here. So seals did not get close. That is very loud and annoying though. Anyway, oh, I can't build another high school. I need more money. Yeah, we found out last time every building actually costs money. I never, I never really realized it for some reason. But yeah, we need to find a way to make some cash. The only other way I can think to make cash is like using, isn't this? Yeah, this is a trade center. Although it looks like, do I need to unlock... Yeah, I need to unlock the, the ability to sell from the trade center. That's annoying. I wonder, oh, when I sent, I sent a penguin away last time, didn't I? Oh, yes, you can get gold. So I could send some penguins. They're actually some that I haven't named yet. Like, I usually name these after my Patreons. But if we just shove some penguins in that, look, they got low productivity. They're probably ones that joined us from that other colony. <laughs> They've literally just joined us and I'm like, yeah, sorry guys, I'm, I'm going to sell you on the black market. If you look in the bottom left, we actually have inadequate living space at the moment. So we do need to build some houses. And again, houses cost gold. So I think for the greater good of the colony, let's send those penguins and look at them all on there. <laughs> Look at them go. All right, anyway, a balloon is returning, hopefully with my cash earnings. And um, by the way, we have now fixed the inadequate living space problem. I think first, let's get another high school on the go. So if we just rotate that. Oh, actually, that orientation works quite well. Goes right to the edge. Yeah, let's shove another one there. By the way, I love when like these buildings get built. You actually like see it happen in stages. So first off, you get like the brick walls. We've just got like a brick roof. We've got some books out the front. But then look, ooh, canopy on top. Pillar. Then as this guy is just hissing, who is that? Colorosana. Oh, they've added some very nice pillars. Oh no, then they've, they've buggered off. Where, where are you going? <laughs> 
going to small food storage to eat fish. Fair enough, they got hungry. Anyway, thankfully their mates are here, their colleagues. They are there with the hammers, finishing this place off. Oh, look at the detail, look at that. Imagine all the stuff we're gonna learn about. Oh, I thought they were solar panels, they're not. They're actual like graduation caps. Decent, but that should have, yes. It has the kids that made it to 50% education, uh, which of course they got in the, in like the normal school down here. So basically baby penguins, they go in there, they learn until they get to 50% education. Then they have to go to high school to get the rest. So yeah, I think at least one more high school there. I better just do, we'll just do a path along that way. Nice. And then that should be enough education for everyone. Uh, we got a new task down here as well. If we click that, uh, we got to unlock and build the plastic recycling station. I'm one step ahead. And then we've just got to produce four plastic. And in return, we get gold and a load of resources. So definitely accept that. Uh, down here, you can see Tyler Zimmerman. They just graduated from primary school. They've now gone to high school. So that is good. Um, and the reason you want your, your penguins to have good education, um, if I can find like a job. Yeah, if we look in our wood recycling station that Andrew's working in, you can see his productivity is only 31%. That's based on a value between their happiness and their education. So if we get their education up, then they'll be way more productive. We just really need to work on the happiness. So perhaps that's where we want to have a look in the science menu and find some happy things. So yeah, it's decorative stuff like this stone lamp gives a bit of happiness. This statue does as well. Oh, I hate building decorative stuff. Oh, a cafe does as well, though. Happiness per visit is two. We could definitely try and unlock that. Also, this high range cooler. We do actually have coolers, but uh, I imagine this one just has a bigger range. So that's probably worthwhile if we unlock that. I uh, might also get a shelter as well. These are just houses that have like, yeah, bigger capacity. They hold five. Oh, they have a low mating rate. That's not ideal. But monthly happiness points, one, even though they're not mating. Uh, and if we do a bit more unlocking down to this stone house, that has three monthly happiness points. And you know why that is? Mating rate high. So everyone in those houses are really good mates. So that is good. Um, right, let's get some of those. If we go into the housing tab, we've got loads of lodges. They only hold three. But if we get some of these shelters on the goat, that'll be good. So you can see wherever I place these, if they're in range of coolers, we get like one happiness. Like there, we get none. That green circle is the happiness bar. So if we shove house in there, that's extra happiness. And these are the coolers that I can potentially replace. So let's have a look. Yeah, basic cooler. So our new ones, oh, they require a bit of metal to build. Not ideal. Oh, but their range is way larger. Oh, which means they make a lot more penguins happy. So yeah, what I might do, I might literally delete some of these. I think I get, yeah, 100% refund of all the materials. So probably worth upgrading. So we'll shove the high range cooler in instead. Oh no, we don't have enough plastic. How much plastic do they need? 32? That's a lot of plastic. We do have a plastic machine. Is it this one? Yeah. Come on, Het, where are you? They're resting. All right, that's it. Get back to work. Get back to work. Get in there. Make us some plastic. So you can see how it works. The, the rubbish just goes in there and then we just whisk the rubbish into plastic. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, look up here. We're at the end of November. So that's about to finish. So in December, a group of seals will be attacking us. So that will happen this month. Then, oh, January. Yeah, it's the annual report. Now, the annual report is when we get measured on our reputation. We can go up and down these rankings. At the end of last year, we had 1,600 reputation. We were the 27th best penguin colony in the United Penguin Kingdom. Um, oh, look down here. Our expiration is going to take 0 0.9 months. We're nearly at the end of December. I can't see us getting any more reputation points really only just like the standard ones uh, what do we have it oh build a shelter produce garbage that'll get us 80 reputation points worth a try we do need some more shelters so i'll build another one up here i think up there is good a little bit of extra happiness as well let's high prioritize that just so it gets built now we've also got all oh, these annual objectives i forgot about these so we've got to reach 19 percent happiness oh i can't see that happening we did do the education though so that was 200 extra reputation points uh, activate production badge. How do I do that? Oh, reach 50 plastic in your stock. We've done all the other things. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, man. So that's an extra 200 reputation. Right, I need more plastic. Is it worth trying to build another plastic recycling station? Potentially. Yeah, let's get let's get one in. So we'll shove that there. That should have electricity. We'll do a path over to there as well. I want to high prioritize this now. Oh, this, we are just playing Timberborn. Everything gets high prioritized. Maybe I could unlock a stone ramp. I could potentially get happiness up if we do that. Yeah, let's unlock that. So in decorations, let's build some stone lamps. Oh, yeah, look in these gaps in the middle. They're pretty good. 
they cover quite a lot of houses. That covers four, so that can go in there. Oh, a trader arrived at the trade office. Let's see the offer. Oh, it allows me to buy... Oh, I could buy the plastic. How much gold do I have? 120. How much plastic do I have? 30. Yeah, so if I just buy 20, then I think we've completed that mission. That's a load of extra reputation for the end of the year. That's good. Now, what I may want to do as well is look at maybe getting some, like, extra food. Like, if we get a nice bit of food variety, that could bring us some happiness. And then I also need stone and metal, because I actually struggled to get those. So, if I do that, that's pretty much all my gold. But, yeah, let's purchase. Nice. So, we've got all of those. Oh, no. Reputation's dropping. Why is reputation dropping? <laughs> <laughs> right, production badge. How do I unlock this then? Come on, I've got it. Oh, this badge will be active next year if the requirements are met at the end of the year. Oh, okay. Oh, we just about did that in time then. Hang on, let's just make sure none of these buildings are built use plastic. No, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Right, and now the seals are attacking. That's not ideal. Because soon I just bought all this new food. If they steal it, I'm going to be extremely mad. And there's quite a lot of 150 health bar seals, which are big boys. All right, come on, spear throwers. Where's my food? Okay, my food is there. So, oh no, these are getting close. These are getting close. Oh, he's got sniped in the head. Yes, that's another shot. Oh no, look at them. No, there's so many. No, we're being ransacked. All of our good food's being nicked. No, all of our squids. Oh no, what a disaster. <laughs> well, that was less than ideal, I think. Still, we finished up our third year. Here's our annual report. We're now 21st in the ranking of the United Penguin Kingdom. So we ended up with 2,051 reputation. We've still got a long way to go, the old penguin is. So we did the education thing. We didn't do happiness. I don't know how to activate the production badge, but it looks like that's our objective for next year as well. As well as reach 45% education. That might be possible now. As long as the old timers move on because they've had it. They're like dumb as anything. <laughs> the new generation, they're well educated. So that should that should work out by the end of the year. We've also got to get to 100 gold. So nice. And then to get to the province title, we must be one of the settlements ranked two to sixth in the ranking of the United Penguin Kingdom. So there's only five provinces. Oh man, to get out of city is going to be quite a lot of work, I think. Wait, oh no, is that what happened? Is that why I didn't get the production badge? Because we used up wood. I literally wasn't even looking at wood. Oh no. Oh, I think I'm an idiot. I think I'm an idiot. Okay, so basically this year, we just need to grow like massively. Um, you remember I built these, these shelters. They don't actually have any penguins in at the moment. It's because we're waiting for them to grow up. And at the moment, we don't have space for any kids. So if we build some kids housing, then we can have more kids. There is a kids villa as well. I imagine, yeah, that's probably like a province thing. Yeah, kids villa. Thankfully, we've still got loads to unlock in, in this. Question is, what do we actually unlock next? Maybe a cafe. That's quite a happy thing. We've also got bird statue. How much science do we have? 340. Tell you what, let's get the cafe unlocked. All right, then cafe. This needs electricity. I reckon they shove it down there. And then, oh, look, exploration report. Oh, so they've given us loads of bonus reward things as well. And two penguins are convinced to join us. Uh, oh, plus we get a load of reputations. That's always good. Always want good reputation when you're a penguin colony. But yeah, building a cinema, building a nightclub. I feel like they're quite a way off, aren't they? Can I even unlock those? Wait, how do I even unlock cinema? Must be unlocked with exploration. Oh, what? I unlock it with exploration. Oh, interesting. Oh, what isn't interesting? Loads of seals everywhere. What? Yeah, they're starting to ransack the place. No, all my food. All my food. Right, anyway, coming up in February, we've got some newcomers coming. Yeah, that's two new penguins, so that's good. We know there's two more coming from the exploration place. But yeah, right, we'll build another library over here. Um, although this library that we do have, we, it's not actually full of penguins, so if we add some more... Oh, look, to Lucas, education 100%, and they're just idle. Okay, so if we add these guys, I think because they're adults now, they can't actually learn anymore unless we add them to this library. So if we add both of those guys, they should learn quite a lot, and then we we can add the Lucas maybe to in here to get us some plastic. Education 100%, productivity 60%. Banging. Right, then I need to build those kids' houses. I completely forgot about those. I got sidetracked. Yeah, if we build one down here, we get the happiness. So that's good. Doesn't look like we can actually fit any more in aside from over there. So yeah, maybe we should start doing some like living stuff over here. Anyway, new task build high schools, produce snow blocks. Okay, so we should get that done fairly soon. And I'm going to try and figure 
figure out a layout where we can get some good happiness on the goat. Um, I feel like, though, it might be worth getting a solar panel down because their diameter is 12, whereas our wind turbine, where's the wind turbine? Oh, the wind turbine's bigger, 15. Oh, but the size, one by three. I think the solar panel, yeah, one by one. Okay, let, yeah, let's unlock the, the solar panel. And then, yeah, okay, so they, they'll be much easier to squeeze around. So I think to start with, we're going to want some kids' houses. I guess we just shove them along that edge. Oh, no, then I've spent all my gold. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't build very much in one go. Let's delete that. These need power before they can even work. I need 24 gold to do that. Oh, we're going to have to sell some stuff or something. Also, my library over here, I've just realized that's that doesn't have any power either. Brilliant. Bit of an architect moment. But anyway, our explorers have returned. So we've got the two new penguins. So that's two more jobs we can do. Uh, you've got 14 exploration points. So I think we need to wait a little bit longer before we can send you anywhere. Yeah, 16 and 17 to go to most places. Uh, by the way, if we do actually want to make it to a province, we've got to get over 4,000, probably 200 reputation. So uh, we got quite a long way to go with that. Oh, anyway, look, look. These kids' houses are built. We have a bit of gold as well now. So it looks like with the power, we can put one in the middle and that covers all three. So if we do that, it means we can get another strip down this side and maybe like in the gaps, we can put some decorative stuff. So if we go in decorations, we have either the vase and also the stone lamp. Now the stone lamp gives two happiness. The vase only gives one. So yeah, what I'm thinking down here, we put a vase in. We need one of those coolers as well, don't we? So we could do a high range cooler as well. If I do that there, that covers all three. Three, so that's quite good. And then like this side, we could do the vase. And then I'm going to do three of the adult houses underneath. And I think this will be quite a good layout to try and like keep going sort of thing. So if I move everything over to here and do this layout, then I everything over, over this side, this is where we can put like the fun stuff. So I think if we get some more carousels, more ice rinks and stuff, they all start to get used. And I think we're good. Oh, by the way, yeah, what was this thing? This was a huddle center. You get 150 extra reputation points. You can huddle up one a year. Oh, the capacity is only 50 though. Not enough place for all your penguins. Build a higher capacity one. Okay, so if we delete that, we get a load of stuff back, which is always good. And then didn't I see? Yeah, look. Yeah, look at this. The city huddle center. So that has space for 100 penguins. Okay, so we do that. Build one of those in there. And then we can huddle up. Oh, that's well good. Okay, so that's what we do. That's how we get extra 100 reputation points. So a senior champion here, they are they're hammering away at that. That should get the cooler done, which should add some happiness to these kids' houses. Now, by the way, education is looking pretty good. 40.5%. Oh my goodness. No, I don't think we're going to defend that, are we? Oh, we've got two towers going for it. Who's actually up there? Kimberly and Frederick. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, we just about protected it. So we get extra reputation. Look at the health on that building. <laughs> down to 10%. Thankfully, that is really good though. Um, Also, I, I just remembered, you can unlock this, an ice cannon tower. Now, this is defense against killer whales, but it doesn't do anything against thief seals. So I'm not actually sure if that's worth doing because like, as we've just showed, we can defend against the whales. It's the seals that we have trouble with. Oh, by the way, we're ready to go on another explore. Shall we go to the, the yellow principle or the gentle breeze? Let's go to the gentle breeze. Yeah, I'm sure. So submarine is on its way once again. All right, what else can we unlock? What would be useful? We're slacking in money the whole time. Science station is a building where you can sell your science points. Ah, okay. We may want that just as a way to get some more money. So we need 300 science to unlock that. Science goes up really slow. Considering we've got one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven scientists. One of them is Phoebe, who's at 59% productivity. And it still takes an absolute age to unlock anything. Uh, oh, we, we now have some homeless <laughs> as well. So I think if we come up here, we can now build those shelters that I wanted to build. So if we just plop them one, two, three, then they'll get happiness from the cooler. They got the power from there. We can get the decorations in when we get some more cash. Uh, speaking of which, we have a new task as well. Oh, build the lamp and then just produce garbage. So that's going to get us a whole load of, oh, a load of good resources as well. Dried fish, stone and metal. Decent. We got to remember the production badge. We got to try and make sure we got 50 plastic and wood by the end of the year. I think we can probably get the knowledge badge as well. If we can get to 50% education by the end of the year, we should be good. Right, anyway, a load of penguins 
ones just grew up. So let's shove them in there because they didn't quite get to the 100% education. So we'll just try and educate them in the library. Uh, oh, this garbage collector, it's not under protection against killer whales. So we may need an extra spear thrower or two. So let's shove one probably down there. Oh, everything needs garbage. Why don't we have garbage? What's it all being used as? Because look, I've paused these two things. Oh, no, actually it's been used in this one, isn't it? The wood recycling station. Yeah, I may need to pause that as well because that's turning garbage into wood. We've just got to we just got to build everything we need beforehand. Oh, yes, by the way, there's all the good resources for that task. All right, now we've got quite a decent amount of gold Ooh, and a decent amount of science. I might get a bird statue on the goat because, yeah, I could do a stone house. The trouble is, like, the amount of resource you need just to build one. 32 wood? Are you mental? Oh, or should I do the science? I was going to do the science station, was I? Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that instead. So, science station. Oh, this doesn't need power. That's good. Let's shove that, I guess, just up over there. Sort of out the way. Oh my goodness, the amount of seals. The amount of seals. Oh, we're definitely losing all of our food. All right, how do I unlock a metal spear tower? Oh, that's again through exploration. I just got to explore a bit more, I think. So many things are locked from this exploration thing. Maybe if I get a few more of these. Oh no, I can only, I can only have one. Well, that's annoying. I tell you what, guys, I feel like we're getting a bit down on ourselves, aren't we? Let's huddle up. Since we now have the city huddle center, let's get everyone in. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look, there's like two tiers. There's like balconies. So yeah, we can huddle up all of our penguins. This will gain us extra reputation for the year and just increase that penguin morale. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Fireworks. Yay. All right, back to work. <laughs> but yeah, look at that reputation. We are flying now. Remember, we've just got to get to like just over 4,000 to become a province. Seems a lot more achievable now. All right, anyway, with that, I think that's probably a good time to end. We've got like six months till the end of the year. I think our aim's just going to be trying to collect as much materials and stop spending it. Um, oh, look, we've reached the 45% education as well. They they do some bad maths. I don't think their education is very good. Technically, we round down to 44 in that situation, but still, I'll take it. Extra 200 reputation there. You've just got to try and unlock some of these badges. So yeah, I think for now, we'll leave it there. And I'll say peace, love, and penguins. Bye.